I define it as a re reflective, careful examination of those issues that arise in biology and in medicine. Um, it covers a broad range of topics, everything from healthcare to concerns about the environment. Genetics spans a large range of activities that occur in garages and in laboratories, so from DIY, biology and biohacking, to genetic testing, to the new possibilities of gene editing. And there's a certain set of issues that are raised in all of those contexts. The first one is safety. It is the information that makes you, you. And so questions about storage of that data and privacy and just thinking about what ID theft would mean if in fact your genetic code was stolen. The second are questions of meaning because we're dealing with the stuff of life, with, with what makes us human. We all become vulnerable when we're ill and what we're finding in the hospital context is more people who come into the hospital unable to make their own decisions. The question that it arises for us is who decides for patients such as these if we cannot find a surrogate decision maker, if they have no advanced directive, if they have no family or friends that we can locate, then who is it that makes those decisions between surgery and medicine. There has been a bit of a space race um, within the private sector towards sending humans to Mars. And we're particularly troubled by the kinds of conversations around a rescue planet. And that then raises questions for us about our ability to to steward our resources here on Earth that has you know, led us to begin to think that we're not gonna survive on Earth and we need to colonize space. One of the main issues that we deal with is around the end of life. We are a death-avoiding, death-defying society and it comes as a surprise to most of us that in fact we do have to make decisions and we need to be able to think clearly and talk about the kinds of interventions we want and don't want at the end of our lives and to be able to create a context in which we die as authentically as we've lived.